And welcome to your Gold Market Update charts of the day for today, Tuesday the 20th of June with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets. Let's have a look at what's happening today as we approach the middle of the Asian session. Of course, overnight, US equity markets are shut for a public holiday and reopen today after a long weekend. US-China relations in focus with Blinken and Xi meeting in China this week. US futures are mildly lower in the Asian session at this stage and Asian markets are mixed in today's trading so far. In other words, the ASX is doing well again as it did yesterday, whereas the rest of the indices in Asia are struggling a little bit to make any gains at all. European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open and the VIX is trading just above three-year lows. US dollar index holds that five-week low with a small gain yesterday, slightly higher again in Asia today and all commodities are edging slightly lower. Gold's trading mid-range, as is oil, and copper has paused and it's just dropped below that 200 EMA after last week's rally. Bitcoin's moved higher again after last week's test of the 200 EMA and looking strong in Asia again today. On the economic front, the People's Bank of China's cut interest rates this morning as expected. Markets are digesting the RBA minutes release and the Aussie dollar is responding negatively to that. We've got Japanese industrial production and US housing data due later. As for the rest of the week, UK CPI and their interest rate decision, global PMI data and the Fed chairman Jerome Powell's testimony in front of Congress are the week's highlights. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, you can see Colgan, which was our ASX chart of the day today. Those of you who subscribe to YouTube will have seen this. Uh, it pushed above $5 in today's trading towards the high of the session and looks set for a move possibly of 10% up to this 550 level if this trajectory continues. We need to see a hold of this into the close but if we look at volume over the last few days you can see it's increased along with this move suggesting that we have got significant market participation in this. On the FX front, we're looking at the Aussie Yen and you can see there we've got a fairly significant reversal in this. Most of this is today's. We look at the hourly chart and you can see this push through a level at 96.79 and we are continuing to move down. Uh, this is as a result of that RBA minutes release and a little bit of strength in the JPY as well. If we breach possibly this 96.30 level could precipitate more selling down to 96 in the first instance and, and possibly beyond. So one to watch over the coming minutes and hours. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.